I've been working on something for a few days and today I'm going to be releasing it to you guys. It is a custom UI builder and basically what it does is it's a tool that is used to create just custom little menus in Minecraft. Good for map makers and maybe you use it in a realm or something like that. Uh, you can create buttons and little menu things that open up with these items and they have their own set functions to them that you get to decide. So to use this, you will download it from the link in the description. It is a Mediafire link, it just brings you straight to the site and you download it, no ads or anything like that. And once you've imported it into the game, you will create a new world. Let me just create some random one here. And then you will go to Behavior Packs, and then, let me see if I can find it here, UI Builder, it is only a Behavior Pack, and you see right here. You activate it, and the only thing you're going to need for this to work is, let me see if I can find it, advanced, and you will need to turn on beta APIs, because it is only a script to turn on anyways, and then you'll create the world. Alright, so once you've loaded up the world, um, you can now start making your menus, and I've made this work for only people who are an operator in this world. You do this by giving yourself a special tag, and I'll show you in just a second. So I'm going to grab a compass, because that is how this starts. I figured that was a good item to use, because not too many people um, really use a compass in game for too much. So as you can see, right-clicking this does not work. You have to tag, at self, add, UI. That's all you got to give yourself, and then right-click, and now you have this menu here. So now I'll show you the different things that you can do with this. And first, I'm going to display the help menu right here. Help. It will show custom commands that you've created, because you can also create custom commands with this pack as well. You see help, show menu, say data, load data, clear commands, all that stuff. And now let me remove the tag from myself actually. At self remove UI and if I try the same command it's not going to display the extra commands and if you try to do something like this it's it's just not going to work at all. So that makes it to where people who are not operators can't mess with your world of course. So let me just give myself that tag back. All right, now first I'm going to start off by changing the global prefix. As you can see, you, come up, you can come up here, Ooh, let me change it to an exclamation point, submit, and now as you can see at the top, I have console logging up there so you can kind of see what's going on. And that's what that does. So now, if I try this, it's not going to do the same thing. I have now changed the global prefix, and now it even changes on the help menu, so that's good for in case you have multiple packs or you're on a server, and which I'm not sure if this works for dedicated servers. It is meant for worlds and realms. Um, what this is good for is just if you have multiple packs and you don't want it to share the same prefix in case they have the same commands. So now let's actually start with custom commands because this is very straightforward. We'll get to the menus right after this. You will create a new command and then you have a custom prefix. It will set the global one as default and you can type in the word. So we're going to do, and we're just going to do the TP home. That's going to be, that's going to be ours here. Now the function. It is going to be running a command. You just type in the command here and no slash. You just do TP and then uh, it's going to be targeting the player that clicks that well that sends the message. So if I just do TP, I don't have to do at self or anything like that. I can just do TP. Let's do 170, 100. That's a, oop, that's a good spot. So let's click submit. And now you, as you can see, it saves the data up here. And now I'm going to do help. And now, oh, that's right, that's the wrong thing. So now if I do help, I have TP Home as an option. So I'm going to do this, TP Home, and there you go. It teleported me to this random place. Nice. All right, now next, well actually, you can also delete a command and you can cancel. You can edit this later, submit, just go back. And now I'm going to create a menu. And also, all of this data, once you create it, if you leave the world and come back, it'll stay safe, so you don't have to worry about losing it or anything. So now I'm going to name this Warps. Let's say you want to create warps around the map or something. So I want three different warps. Let me just change the slider. Max is 10. So you go over here. Oop, that's a little fidgety. Are you kidding? Just eh, eh. Okay, good. Boom. So now the activator. This is the item you want to use to open the menu. So before I do all that, I'm just going to come over here and click Submit because, you know, why not empty data. I'm going to pull out a recovery compass and just show you that this does not open. You can hear me clicking. It doesn't open anything. Now let me edit existing. Edit. I can do, you have to do the identifier. 
which is this, um, Minecraft and then a colon, and then you do recovery, underscore, compass, and now I'm going to add the button name, so I'm just going to do home is one of them, it's going to TP, we're going to do our same home location, which is right here, and like I said, the, um, the command's going to be running from the player, so you don't have to worry about targeting them, it'll already be targeting them. Let's see, just do teleport you home to, let's just do shop or something, I don't know, let me just finish this real quick. Okay, so now that I've got that done, you can submit, you can always go back and change it later, just come back down here and submit go back and now you can also delete the menu if you want go back and then after that you now have a custom menu that you can open and now let me just tag at self remove UI and show you if you're just a regular user you come over here the compass doesn't work with the recovery compass it still shows you so as you can see if you click on it it'll teleport me to these O locations now I've got spawn this is zero zero let me actually turn on coordinates so you can see as you can see I'm at well Zero, 0, this one was 400, 100, 400, and then this one is home. So those are all those different places. Uh, it is a single command thing, but if you know what you're doing, you can like give yourself a tag whenever you click this button, and then link that to command blocks to execute a more sophisticated function, so that way you don't have to write like three different functions within the menu. So if you know what you're doing, you can kind of make it work where you can buy things if you want. So yeah, that's how you use this little menu thing here. Um, it's not too complicated. So, um, like I said, you can get the download in the description, it goes straight to Mediafire, no ads or anything like that, and hopefully you can use this in your next map. And let me just show you one last thing, just leave, rejoin, your stuff will be saved, you'll still have. See, it has the same prefix we selected, you know, if I click this, it keeps the menu, you know, edit, go back, you just delete it if you want, oh, that's not the delete button, that is not, so you can just delete, go back custom commands, delete, and done. So yeah, that's that.